On November the 15th, um, my life was forever changed. I walked into the hospital for a regular checkup and I left out of there as a breast cancer patient. Through those two hours of speaking with my doctors and trying to process everything, I had a ton of moments of tears and fear and crying and not understanding what my next steps would be. Luckily for me, I immediately had a great team behind me. I knew who my oncologist would be. I knew who my primary care physician would be. I knew who my support staff, my support system. I had a lot of those things in places that I had no idea until, uh, until my diagnosis. But that also led me to think about what if I did not have that? What if I was not blessed enough to have the resources that I have? And immediately I'm sitting home and probably um, about a month later, I received my first bill. And I looked at the amount of, of that bill. And thankfully my insurance covered majority of it. And thankfully I had the, um, the money to pay for it. But what if I did not have that? What if I did not have the insurance that covered those PET scans, that covered um, the MRI, that, that covered my treatment? That is the thing that I, I wanna fight for. That is something that is dear to my heart for those women that are underserved, that are not as privileged, that don't have the resources to fight this battle because this battle is hard. This battle is something that is not made for the weak. But I will say this, this battle is expensive. This battle is not something um, that you can do by yourself. You will need so many people around you. You will need so many resources to help you get through. And that is what I'm fighting for. And that is what I would love for the community, whether it's women's basketball community, the men's basketball community, the, the professional community to join this fight with us um, because we all need help. I am sitting here as a patient, as a breast cancer um, patient, and I hope to one day say that I am a breast cancer survivor, but I cannot and will not do it without the help of everyone else. And there's so many other women besides me that need that help that are not as privileged, that are underserved, and that is what I am in this fight for is to help those women. And that is why I am asking you to join me today in celebrating 15 years of KEL Cancer Fund Impact. This year, your donation will provide 15 $50,000 grants that directly support underserved women by ensuring access to quality cancer healthcare nationwide. Let's save lives together. Please donate.